Hi Leo, it's Lulu I Love with House of Oshun, and today I'm going to do your last week of December, okay? But I will put it in the mid-month playlist. I do apologize and thank you so much for your love and support. Any information that you need will be in the description box, okay? Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate it. Anyway, so let's get a spiritual overview, Leo. And the information that you have for my beautiful Leos. Thank you, darling. It's, um, it's time for you to move away from something that has that no longer serves its purpose in your life. I feel as though <clears throat> some of you may have been um, like caught in a crossfire in a situation that had nothing to do with you. Um, they're just saying that um, take the high road if you haven't already. It's going to be important to take the high road and stick to it in order for you to um, move forward in the direction in which brings you love, happiness, and security. Okay? Yeah, they want you to be the peacemaker. Some of you may be the patriarch or the matriarch of your family, but they want you to be the um, the mediator in some situation. Um, it could be um, something to do with the household, family members, whoever. Whatever it is that you need to um, mediate. Some of you people may be coming to you asking for your opinion about some type of contractual um, documents or how do you feel about um, a certain situation that's going on in their life. So they just want you to come from an unbiased place here. Now is the time. You're moving into a period where your wisdom is going to be very needed um, overall. So that's why it's good for you to take the higher ground. <clears throat> moving forward, I also feel as though for those of you who haven't been able to lead a certain situation a certain way in your life, you're about to become more of a leader um, moving forward. Let's clarify, y'all. It's a tulip. Um... There may have been someone who's very cold uh, towards you or when you went in this environment, it was very cold. It's just time for you to move away from that. And it's also important for you to uh, ground and protect yourself, especially at this time. Who's to say when is what, right? If there's been any type of emotional upset, um, an emotional uproar in your environment, they just want you to um, find the um, balance in the situation. Find, <laughs> sorry. They want you to find um, even your, own, find a way for you to be at peace even when um, things don't seem to be going your way. Or if it seems like the whole world is coming down on you and you don't know which way to go or who to turn to, they want you to be also um, the sage in your own life here. Know that everything will be all right. It's kind of like having like a will of fortune um, personality. So you may be called to do that even more so moving forward, yeah. Um, there may have been... With this gathering that's taking place, it could be for Christmas or what have you. Um, there may be some people there that uh, you may not get along with, but they just want you to find a peace in it. Like, hey, we can't have a good time. We can argue tomorrow. And hopefully everybody gets some good sleep and we ain't got to argue. I'm also seeing here that some of you may be doing some uh, spiritual uh, rituals with two or more people. And this is going to raise the frequency of the group overall. All right. Yeah. There's a new um, approach to um, how you feel about yourself, how others feel about you. And some of you may even have a new love offering coming in. But overall, what I'm seeing here is that your heart is protected. It feels as though there's a renewal of the heart chakra, the compassion that you are moving forward with, with this wisdom that you will be like this leading. You will be leading from a very confident space. I feel as though 
you um, for those of you that may be coming out of a situation where it may have been very depressing, it may have come uh, been a, you may have been in a space where you know you cried your last cry, you shed your last tear, you ain't got time moving forward. So you're a new person moving forward. Um, if you're working with pyramids of light, this is going to be very important for you moving forward. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, pyramids of light. It feels as though with everything that you um, have gone through and, and the direction that you want to go here, I'm saying that you will be uh, utilizing all of the information, all of the things that you've gone through moving forward and you will, will continue to gather, you will continue to study, you will continue to um, learn, but it, it feels mostly like you're learning yourself in order to help other people, Leo. The situation that um, happens at this gathering is going to provide you with some truths. There will be some truths revealed, um, but it's mostly about how people interact with one another when it comes to a crisis or something like that, some dispute, <clears throat> and how you um, have so much loving energy in you to bring peace without even with little to no effort. Um, some of you may, <clears throat> some of you may be drawn to doing some, uh, you work with water, if that makes sense, or you just could be, um, some type of, um, healer, but you work with water though, maybe a water goddess. And have a very strong connection to water but i do see rebirth new life for you here this is this has to happen this is something that has to happen this transformation that you are going through it's beautiful Yeah, there's a lot of threes. So it could be some other issue with relationships going on. And we'll look into that in a second. <clears throat> with personal relationships between two people that have sex or want to. <laughs> I see here that there may be a job offer coming in or you are waiting um, for someone to um, respond to some type of contract that you may have sent out. Even if it's a lawsuit, you're waiting for a response. Um it feels like you put a lot of work into some type of project or business endeavor. You're waiting for some type of bid to come back or um, you could easily be waiting for um, to speak back with a manufacturer about a proposal, a business proposal, what have you. It feels like there's you and someone else in the running for um, like if you're looking for a job or if you're looking to receive something from someone. And we'll talk about how that go in a minute. Because it could be that you are looking for a present from your friend. And somebody else looking for a present from your friend too. And he trying to he or she is trying to figure out who they're gonna get his gift to. <laughs> All right, so that's how that goes there. Um when it comes to um you putting um with this new um a level um of emotion, this new level of following what it is that you desire moving forward with this new way of leading moving forward, I feel as though you're really going to begin to shine your light. Your light will be very bright moving forward. So be mindful of that. When the brighter we get, the more that all types of energies are attracted to us. So be mindful of that. Now let's go the other way. Now here's the other way. Some of you may have um been dealing with someone for quite some time or this could be their energy however it resonates so there's um either you went through a rough patch with them and you're trying to move forward um with them by being the peacekeeper the peacemaker offering some type of peace <clears throat> to the situation in order for you to move forward even if someone may have um taken more 
than what they were supposed to, done more than what they were supposed to, um, overstep their boundaries more, like lies, deception, it could have cheating, what have you. But I feel as though there's a new, a rebirth, reignited passion or a new love coming in here. After you've gone through this and find the peace in things, you will be um, raising your frequency to bring in more of what it is that you do want to attract to you. It's right here. <laughs> I feel as though whatever this um, has to do with um, a possible third party situation, that um, things are about to even out or feel as though they are evening out here. <clears throat> because at the end of the day, whoever is lying, they're not going to stop lying anytime soon. But there's still um, love coming in or a new found, um, a new feeling of love coming in overall. Hmm. Please tell me how that makes sense to y'all. Moving on, again, I see here where there may be someone who is um, trying to figure out who is worth moving forward with because at the end of the day, I feel like whatever this is, Leo, someone may have been dealing with another person for quite some time. They may have been having an affair and, and an actual long-term commitment, which long-term relationship situation shit, but I feel like there was three and it could easily be either um, another person that they were dealing with or it could be that someone had to choose between a mama and a woman I'm not getting into that because y'all know how I feel about mother-in-law maybe I, I need to um need to work on myself with that one some mother-in-laws don't know how to mind their own business this ain't your relationship, ma'am. Alright, let's pick pull up the big girls. Let me see if my frequency will play. I don't like it. I just want to finish the half for Leo. Enough of those shenanigans. All right, so moving forward, you should be feeling very optimistic, um, very, very forward thinking, forward driven here. But there may be some anxiety surrounding about, surrounding you when it comes to uh, matters of the heart. Really, um, some of you may even have some old memories of a relationship that has passed or some things that transpired, and you're wanting to heal. And you will begin to heal, but it's going to be a process for you. Um, I really feel like a decision had to be made and someone is very um, nervous about this decision being made very um, possibly obsessing over having obsessing thoughts like um, all of these different scenarios in and out in and out I feel like you may have a close friend who um, will be um, being um, a logical shoulder to lean on or you are the logical shoulder to lean on but this is going to take you patience moving forward you're going to have to be patient with yourself and other people I feel as though with the options that are available to you um, there if you take a wider look at things um, overall in every aspect of your life whatever options are available to you on any level you want to be sure to um, take a broader look at things gather more information do, do the research even if it's people I feel like there's, um, there may be some lack mentality here, feeling as though you're not enough or you don't have enough to make something happen. Um, some of you may even be fearing success on the level of, uh, or being successful on the level of um, comparing yourself to others. Well, I don't have this. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, um, you have enough, you are enough. And once you start walking towards what it is that you are focused on manifesting, you will accomplish what it is that you need to do. The more that you accomplish, the bigger you will be able to dream and know that you, you can be confident in what it is that you want to focus on. So that's just for one person that may be having some feelings of lack. Don't look outside, look within. Write down 10 things you love about yourself. Write down 10 things that you're good at. Okay, can't nobody beat you being you. And you can't beat nobody else being them. All right, yep, there it is again. Be patient. Know that all things come um, come full circle. We have the world card as well. I feel as though some of you may be receiving a, um, a text message or some type of communication from afar. 
that will um, like if you were waiting to hear from someone um, at a certain time you'll hear from them but what you want to um, what you need to move forward or the information that you may need or if you need this to be completed by a certain time it's gonna take a little longer so just take your time with that as well okay Some of you may um, have some type of issues. Maybe you grind your teeth. Because I keep getting, uh, there's something here. Maybe you're having, uh, someone's having surgery to have their jaw uh, realigned or waiting to hear back to see if the insurance will accept some type of surgery for this area. Because <laughs> I just get, keep getting strong feelings here. <clears throat> with this delay, um, because things uh, with this delay that may occur, um, you may feel restricted for a moment, but it's important for you to um, follow your intuition, follow your gut, even if it feels like it's debilitating, you will be fine. Trust me. On, well, don't trust me. Trust them. <laughs> trust them on this. Things have to end in order for new things to begin. I feel as though the decision that you make may be causing these obsessive thoughts because you know that that's it. There's no way to go back to that situation. The worst is behind me or a person or uh, what have you. Just don't want to look back. It's right there. Uh, you will be walking into the door of romance. Um, a very loving period for you. This may be... Um, um, a period of um, extremely good luck because you're the way that you see things the way that you do things how you feel about certain things will change drastically and you'll be able to manifest things into your life a little faster because of the self-love the self-care that you've done and also even you'll realize that because you didn't get closure on a certain situation that deal or what have you, you didn't get it at that time but when you did get it you realize why things work out how they do if you felt restricted and felt like you couldn't move until something was done and then it finally is worked out you will re realize that's why it didn't work out because that had to happen in order for me to get to this point and really be deeply appreciative of it. Or, you know, because you realize how everything, like that wisdom that's coming in for you is real strong. You'll be even more in touch with your star player by the end of this period. I really feel as though maybe February or March, you will um, be on a, you will feel yourself on such a huge spiral up. You'll, you'll do even more spiraling up. And don't forget about those pyramids of light. But you'll be spiraling up so much to the effect of um, you won't realize how good 2009, like you'll be in the moment and feeling how good 2019 is. But by the time you get to about August, you're going to be like, that was a roller coaster, right? Like you really get to a point where you're just going to evaluate the entire year. Right, so I just really feel like things are really about to pick up for you. Things are you got huge things coming. I don't know much about y'all, and my legs are crossed again. Somebody was in the comments one time saying that it was some spirit had me crossing my legs. I don't have time to play with nobody right now <laughs> for some reason because different signs have different energy periods. So y'all just be having me crossing my legs. I've been on my best behavior. I didn't even ring the bell. Bye. I'm finna go. Bye. I love y'all and thank you. Bye.